Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In the last episode, we created this awesome tree farm. The video did excellent. Thank you so much to everybody that watched my video, subscribed. Hello new subscribers and welcome in. So the last episode, I basically depleted all my andesite resources. So all of these create blocks here need andesite to some degree, whether it be an andesite casing, andesite alloy or any of those items. So today we are making an andesite alloy farm, which not only makes andesite alloy, but it also generates its own andesite. Okay, so if you never want to run out of andesite alloy ever again, this is the farm to make and this is how we do it. Okay, so I finally have the spot for this new andesite farm and this is where I'm going to place it. It's going to be next to my vineyard and just in front of the restaurant. So it's all part of the buildings that I'm busy building up here. Okay, so let's take a look at the schematic. I designed this farm already in a creative world just to make it a little bit easier and quicker for us. So this is the basics of the farm. At the end of the day, all everything starts with a cobblestone generator. So we've got co cobblestone generator here at the top. It feeds down, creates gravel. Gravel goes through once more, creates flint. The conveyor brings it into the basin. This presses it into an andesite block. The andesite block goes through this tunnel and it either gets split off over here to this basin or it goes into the controller. All right, so what we've got over here is we've got another cobblestone generator that grinds it down into gravel. The gravel goes onto this conveyor, but it gets washed underneath. This filter tells this tunnel it will not accept the gravel. It will only accept two items, either an iron nugget or flint. The iron nuggets will go through. It will get carried onto this conveyor belt, go into this section over here, mix with the andesite using the mixer, mix with the andesite and it produces andesite alloy. And that's it. It goes into the controller get stored away and that's the farm in a nutshell so i've used the creative motors purely because there are a lot of moving parts and to try and get all of the water wheels and chain drives and all of those things in here it's gonna be a nightmare let's pop it into the cannon and let's get building okay so we pop this into the cannon over here i've loaded it with gunpowder already the settings are replace solid with solid and just skip missing blocks so there shouldn't be any missing blocks but if there are any it's, it's it will skip it okay let's go and there we go all done Okay, let's get some lava here at the lava farm quickly. Uh, I'm just going to take that much. Oh, here's my killer whale, Deborah. Hi, oh, Deborah. So hello to Deborah. So cute. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so here at the top, I just want to make sure that I fill in the water in the correct places. So we've got a water section over here. So one, and that's going to run over there. And two, sorted. Okay, and another source over there and there. All right, so that is it. So that's the water. So we've waterlogged these stairs, which means this water is going to continuously flow over here and we don't have to worry about it ever converting to obsidian. Okay, now we can just add the lava. There we go. And we can already hear it working. There's the gravel. All right, so this is going to go in. Here's the water over here. All right, so I've set the motors at the bottom here to 120. So it's going to blow up nice and quickly. And there we go. So these are going to get washed so long. Okay, so the filter that we're looking at is going to be for iron nugget and flint. And that's actually going to go in this place over here. And the iron is going to come through there. So I'm going to take one of those. And pop it over there. And the flint. Give me that flint. That flint's going to go over there. There we go. So we're going to make sure that flint always goes through here. Iron always goes through there. And this filter is going to help us make sure that happens. Okay, the iron is always going to go there. So this is backed up at the moment. Because there's a piece of flint. Okay, there we go. Blint's been taken out. 
and there's your andesite alloy filter andesite filter all right this needs to be moved goes there okay and this one is going to be the gravel bricks polished andesite and block of flint so sometimes that happens over here so we just want to make sure that any of those items go through this little section over here so it gets picked up that way and it gets taken on this conveyor belt so it kind of skips that conveyor we don't need it to go into this tunnel that's going to confuse the situation over here and we need to make sure that it it splits the items but it will split it evenly over time so it works out quite well looks like everything is running so smoothly there's the andesite alloy so that means that iron came through that side, andesite came through that side, mixed in the basin, and there's the alloy. All done. Okay, these were the blocks that I put in place for just measuring. So those blocks are going to be a building that's going to go over the top of this thing. And I've managed to actually gather the resources for that. So that's going to be done right now. Oh my goodness, I'm walking around with food. The raccoons actually beg for food. And you can just... There we go, little buddy. You can eat it. So cute. Okay, bye. <laughs>my goodness look how beautiful this house is i'm so excited i absolutely love it so this is kind of the front door and here we've got some storage okay so you know how it goes we need to link the controller to the drawers and this is how get the linking tool we make it multiple by holding shift by holding alt we adding it and that's all we do so we click on the controller and we say all of these and all of these need to be added to this controller so all the items that come into the controller now will start filling up from here okay so now that we've linked everything let's decorate i'm not gonna show you all of that stuff so i'll bring you back in when it's done okay and the last thing is i'm gonna pop a sunflower right here there we go oh it's so beautiful okay let's give you a tour so this would be the entryway into the area so you come from the waystone and i've made two paths so uh path number one leads to the current project and path number two leads to a future project so grain and i are going to be working on something over here very soon make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one it's gonna be so cool this is the entry into the andesite farm area but i also want it to look like this is the house like this is the main farmhouse or something of this area so it looks so cozy like a little house but deep inside its belly it's got something cool happening so this is where all the andesites being made speaking of which and this farm has been producing so well while I've been working here in the area, this is what it's produced. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled with what it's done. So I changed the floors here to spruce. And I changed the floor on this side. This was cobblestone and all of that. So this has all been made into spruce. At the back here, I've got a nice little exit area. So it, it leads in quite nicely. I've built all of this up. So this whole area covers 
you know, where that big hole was before. So that covers beautifully. I planted some trees and some shrubbery. And, you know, we do the boulder thing just to decorate. So this area looks like its own little area. There we go. How sweet is this? That looks so cool. Just like that. Some nice, beautiful trees. I like that the cherry trees drop the, le the petals. Just creates an atmosphere, you know. Beautiful. And then we got an area that walks up here. So this is kind of a walkway that leads us to the vineyard. So if this was somebody living in that house, maybe this is how they got to work. You know, driving the tractor or working in the workshop or seeing to the horses. So this is maybe the path down that way. So I'm sure you notice this beautiful contraption over here. This is the cherry on the cake and I'm so excited to show you how I built this. So let's run that clip. Over here, I've decided to add the cherry on the cake. So I'm going to make a log stripper and andesite casing maker. <laughs> so we've got all the andesite coming in. And we need andesite casing for most of the create stuff. So let's just make a little bench workbench over here and get it done. So I'll show you how to do it. These are the basic ingredients that you'll need. With the gearbox, some deployers, obviously a way to power it. And the filter with andesite and we'll get some wood just now all right so this is how it works this is just my starting area and then we're gonna have two shafts over here then we connect the belts there we go so that's created over there mechanical saw okay so two shafts but they're going to be spaced a little bit further apart and connect the belt this now gives us three spots Okay, now we take the deployer and we pop it here in the middle. The deployer is going to hold andesite alloy. And what it's going to do is when the wood comes through, gets stripped with the saw, it comes through, the andesite casing gets placed on top of it, and it goes into here. So this part here is where this goes there. Okay, so the filter comes into play over here on the mechanical saw. The filter includes a stripped variant of every single type of wood that you intend to put in this farm will go through here if you don't have this filter the saw doesn't know what you want to do with this piece of wood and it's just going to sit here and nothing's going to happen so you need to tell the saw i want to strip the wood and if you happen to put different types of wood in here you're going to be kind of screwed because if you don't if say for example if you just place the stripped oak here and you put spruce spruce won't be done because it's only looking for oak so you need to make sure that you are accounting for all the wood types that you're going to be using. Okay, let's power this thing. So we're going to power it with a gearbox. So what a gearbox does is it allows the, is it changes the direction from one input to the next. So all of this one will, for example, go this way. This one will go the opposite way. And then this one will go the right way again. So these two on the outside will go the same way. This one in the middle will go the opposite way. And we need that to make sure that the saw is running the right way to strip the wood. And all we need to do over here is just add in the mechanical motor here. And there we go. Everything is running the correct way. There we go. Now you can see it. So these are turning anti-clockwise. And these are this is turning clockwise, which means it's going to work. Again, okay, then we just need to give this guy some power. Okay. Let's give it 32. Why not? Let's see how that goes. Okay, so nothing is happening right now because this has no wood. So let's go get some wood. At the beautiful tree farm. Oh, wow. This tree farm is grown. I need to send the blades through. Okay, let's just take some mangrove. Why not? Okay, so now I've got the mangrove. Mangrove is going to go in here. And it's going to go through and get stripped. There we go. And that's going to accept... And a side casing. There we go. Everything's running at the appropriate speeds. So this is just running at 16. Nice and slow enough. The saw can't go any faster. The conveyor belt is, you know, leaning up nicely. And there we go. This is looking so cool. So this is the cherry on the cake. And um, I hope that this helps every single one of you. The manual process of making andesite casing is quite tedious. 
especially if you don't have ultimon you're gonna have to manually strip every single log and then place andesite alloy on every single log it's really tedious so i hope this helps you out and it's going to be it's going to be a background process so while you're working on your next project or while you're designing your next project you just let this thing run and when you come back you'll have andesite casing you're welcome so while that thing is running passively in the background you can be carrying on doing your chores doing whatever you need to do and then you come back and you've got andesite all you need to do is just make sure that the hand has enough andesite alloy so it will always keep feeding the farm okay let's carry on with the tour so i'm sure you've noticed this path is pathway block and this clearly is a path but there's no pathway block why is that okay so this would be let's say let's call it a busy path walking up and down to the vineyard and back home and all of that but this is like a side path so generally speaking if a path isn't walked that often grass may not grow there but it could still be grassy so like over here this is maybe very busy but when it gets here it starts getting worn out and this is a side path that maybe takes you back here to this build or something like that so it's good to keep these areas around and that's why we've got some bushy areas so no one really walks around here which is fine i mean we've got paths and this is the main waystone so i still need to build this waystone covering or build or whatever it is here so i'm gonna maybe ask lovejoy for some assistance here because lovejoy is an excellent builder and i think he has some insights for me because his waystone build looks really cool <laughs> and uh speaking of lovejoy maybe maybe i can ask him to help me with a, a bit of a bridge here a sneaky bridge so i'll have to chat to him one day during chaos craft oh and speaking of chaos craft we did some chaos chaos wednesday this week so i live streamed chaos wednesday so i'll link it in the card above so you can go ahead and watch it after this and that unfortunately is it for this video i really appreciate every single one of you that watch my videos like and leave me such beautiful comments below it really fills my heart with so much happiness and i'm so thrilled that you all love the videos that i make thank you very much have an awesome weekend and remember leave a little bit of sparkle wherever you go Bye-bye, everyone.